Hi and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with products I have hit pan on, Vol 5. It's been a little bit over a year since the last video. I did it in November last year. So let's see what's happened since last year. To see what happened first I can read numbers from last year. Then I had 19 pans total. 15 of them were old and 4 were new. I had finished 2 from the year before. So time for this year. This year I have a total of 23 pans. 23 pans. Of them are 14 old and 9 are new. And I have finished 5. So a little bit have happened. And I, that it feels nice that I have more new, new pans then. But the old ones, the pans are very high. I think I have to work on something last, last year. Next year in project panning. Speaking of that, one that I finished since last year that's been in this one for so long is the eyeshadow in the Lumine Duo. It's now finished. It, it was a, like a champagne pink shade and now it is gone. So I said that in the last year's video that this one I have to pan next year because it's ridiculous that it's still here. But nice gone. Then to some old pans, I will show you products I've been pan on previous years. First one is the one that was new last year, I think, and it's in the blush by So Susan. And it's a little bit bigger this year. The next one has been in this one also for for many many years and it's the one in the silver grey quad by Isadora same with the next one has been in here also a little bit ridiculous time now <laughs> and it's, it's the two greens in the C palette And the same with the two ones in the, the Balm Jovi palette. Palette, palette, <laughs> palette. Do you see them? A little bit of a heads up, I think I will be working on this one next year, a little bit extra. So, one some new pants in this one. Next one is the Nudes palette, also nothing has happened since last year, I think that will also change in the coming year, I have to work on this again, I have 4 pans still since last year, I finished 3 in total in this one. The next two are the palettes that have old and new pans and finished pans, so only one. First one is the Butt Naked palette by NYX. And in this one I have two new pans. I have two old pans that are repressed and I have finished three since last year. So two new ones is this one and this one. The old ones are this, is this white and the pink. And so once I finished is that one in the middle, that one and this one. And 
And to keep it in the NYX family, I have the Highlight and Contour palette. This one I have two new pans. I have finished one since last year and I have two remaining that are also repressed. So the two new ones is this banana, banana shade and this contour shade. I finished this one and I have pans in these two. Now to the next two products that are brand new for products I've hit pan on. They were not in here last year, they're brand new. First one is my, my powder by Kix. Hit pan on this one during the summer this year. And the pan is very big now because it's the only powder I have. Uh, you use it every week. Next one is the chocolate bar that's been my heat pan in the palette and I have heat pan on four eyeshadows. So that's the what? 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 So that's the products I've hit pan on. Update number 5 of all 5. I think it's so fun to see I have actually new pans in one year, 9 of them. I think the best year so far. But I have too many old ones that I will work on next year. So I want them out right now. They've been here too long now. I'm thinking about products that I want to use next year and the projects that I want to do. I'm not sure because I don't have much things to finish really. It's mo mostly heat pan on my products. But thanks to this one I have a few that I might can put in some smaller projects. But I think I will do a pan palette next year and I think I want to do the pan those eyeshadows. But with my version I will make it a little, little bit more suiting for me. So, so I'm working on some to finish and some to hit pan in palettes. So, yeah. It's, it's, it's a, lot, a lot of thinking now for the new year because it's really soon here and new projects. Let's see what I want to do. I think I will do that after I have finished the uh, finish eight by Christmas. So in the days between New Year's Eve and Christmas, I will look through it more. I think to see what's left from that project, if something is left, so I can just roll over to next year's project and to see if I want to do finish something by spring or if I want to do. A rolling tan pan or something, the ones I want to finish. So let me know in the comments what, what projects you like to watch. Do you like the seasonal projects like Finish 7 by Spring? Or do you like me doing like a rolling tan pan or Finish 8 by Summer or the little bit longer projects maybe? So I also want to do something for you viewers, not only for myself all the time. But some projects I like to do my way but Hopefully you want to watch them also, but I also want to do something for you who are watching my videos. What projects you enjoy more. And if you want me to do a finish something by spring, that should start then around Christmas. Okay, they don't it, because we'll do that at the start in January, maybe that will be short. It's a lot, a lot to think of. So let, so let me know what you would like to see and I will have that in consideration when I plan my projects for the next year. 
So that's all for this Palace Avit pan on. Update number 5. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. Bye!